Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to this cross-border e-commerce development forum. Let me begin with a Chinese saying, crisis and opportunity go hand in hand. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a severe impact on business activities, but it has also significantly accelerated the shift towards digital and online engagement. E-commerce is a sector that has clearly seen tremendous growth and new opportunities during the pandemic. In the first three quarters of the year, China's online retail sales grew by 9.7% and the total revenue of China's e-commerce market is projected to reach 1.1 trillion US dollars in 2020. The same rapid growth is seen across major markets with online retail sales in the EU and the US growing by more than 30%. China's growth is an encouraging example of what can be achieved with e-commerce. China now has the world's largest B2C e-commerce market which created more than 50 million jobs, lifted people out of poverty, and spurred innovations. What, therefore, can we learn from China's experience? How can China better support e-commerce in other developing countries? What can we do to ensure that e-commerce benefits all, especially micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, women, and youth? Let me just share a few thoughts. First, e-commerce needs to be more inclusive. MSMEs in developing countries still face significant challenges in starting their online businesses. Lack of digital infrastructure is seen as a major bottleneck. China can play a role in helping to address the challenge. The Digital Silk Road program on the China's Belt and Road Initiative, for example, is helping developing countries improve digital and infrastructure connectivity, attract investment in improving electricity grids, telecom and transportation networks, that will pave the way for e-commerce development. Besides connectivity, MSMEs also need more assistance with developing capacities and exploring market opportunities. China's vast consumer market has great potential for e-commerce exports from developing countries. I'm pleased to see that increasing number of products from developing countries are appearing on the e-commerce platforms in China. Premium coffee beans from Rwanda, natural honey from Zambia, saffron from Iran, and ITC services from Bangladesh. These products and services contribute to meeting the increased demand of Chinese consumers and businesses and help companies in developing countries expand into international markets. As a joint agency of the United Nations and the World Trade Organization, the International Trade Center helps MSMEs build skills and knowledge and connect them to the global market. At previous editions of China International Import Expo, ITC supported participation of 130 MSMEs from 22 developing and least developed countries. Companies established more than US dollars 30 million worth of prospective deals for new exports to China, including through e-commerce. Secondly, e-commerce calls for greater cooperation among countries on rules and regulations. Cross-border e-commerce is still trade, and trade between countries follows international rules and standards. Yet in many aspects, current global trade rules are not designed with e-commerce in mind. This is why new rules are being developed, including in the regional trade agreements and at the WTO, to provide enabling policy environment and facilitate cross-border e-commerce. WTO members are actively examining how trade rules apply to e-commerce and what new rules need to be developed. Data flow, privacy, cybersecurity, taxation, and competition are among the key issues under discussion. China is actively participating in these negotiations and the outcome will help to secure a more stable and predictable policy environment for global e-commerce. Last but not least, e-commerce needs to be green. We should not lose sight of the impact of e-commerce on the environment. The packaging involved in online shopping contributes huge amounts of waste and some could be damaging to the environment. Transition towards sustainable packaging from recycled materials or reusable packaging is already underway, and the sooner this is done, the less will be the environmental burden. We have a collective responsibility to take care of our planet for future generations, and we need to act quickly and decisively. ITC stands ready to continue working together with China, with the government and companies to help MSMEs from developing countries to board the e-commerce train and to make e-commerce contribute towards the sustainable and inclusive development. Thank you, and I wish you a good discussion.